Today, I want to share with you a concept called the emotional bank account. In this video, I will be describing exactly what that is and how you can leverage this as a tool in your relationships. Hi, my name is Dr. Ko, and I am the CEO and medical director at Reset Ketamine in Palm Springs. So let's get to this question. What is an emotional bank account? So you have a bank account likely, and you have credits and debits. So when you put money in, your bank account goes up, and when you take money out, your bank account balance goes down. Now in every relationship, there is a metaphorical bank account. And when we do something positive for someone, when we help them, when we say kind words and acknowledge them or give them appreciation, you are adding to that emotional bank account. However, there's times when we need to be direct or times when we might be critical or say some harsh words. Those actually debit or take away money from the bank account. Classically, one of the researchers in the space, John Gottman, he says that the ratio of deposits to withdrawals is about five to one, meaning that for every five positive things is equivalent to one negative thing. Why is this concept important? Well, think about the relationship you have with your friend or your child or your loved one, someone close to you. And have you noticed that sometimes your bank account is depleted with them and you're like, man, they're asking me for another favor. OMG, I've done so much for them already. They've withdrawn too much from your bank account. Whereas if they were to constantly contribute to you, make your life a little bit easier, make things smoother for you, now they've added a lot to your bank account. So when they do make a small request or favor, you're like, of course, I would be more than happy to help you with this. Now, I know that we want to give and help and support other people, but if you're operating from a negative bank account balance, it can be challenging and you may not feel motivated to help them. Similarly, in your shoes, if you've been constantly withdrawing from your emotion, emotional bank account with these relationships, and now you ask them for another favor, you're already maybe at a negative balance. So here's the take home point is remember that every relationship has this concept of an emotional bank account. And to make those deposits regularly, because there are times when you need to make withdrawals. This concept can be really useful for you as you navigate the relationships you have with your loved ones.